Taurus, hi, welcome to your video for um, September 2020. Please note that these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. If they don't, that means the message was maybe not meant for you this month. But take the time to, um, you know, listen and see if any parts of it resonate, because you could get mixed messages as well. Uh, this is for now into the middle of September. I will do more readings mid-September as I have started doing. Please um, take the opportunity to like, subscribe and share. I would really appreciate that. And also join my community on Facebook and Instagram. All right. And if you have done so already, thank you so much for supporting me. Let's get into your readings for September. What can we expect for Taurus for September? I'm getting no jumpers. You guys have got stubborn energy. You're dealing with someone who's got stubborn energy. Maybe a decision needs to be made and it's not being made and you're just in limbo. Something's going on with you guys. We're going to find out what's going on. Because these cards aren't jumping freely. Virgos, they just jumped out freely and told their story. You guys are just not jumping. I'm going to have to pull them. Oh, there we go. Yep, what did I just say? The devil. You guys are dealing with someone who, yep, your balance is out of whack. See what I said? I love it when I like channel messages and they just come to fruition. That's like a psychic's best, best proof that they have the ability because they just channel the messages. They're feeling intuitively and they just come out in the cards. Okay, so this may have got to do with a romantic relationship for a lot of you, a friendship or close relationship that you're going through, okay? But someone at the moment is putting their energy into something that's toxic. Um, the devil talks about, well, obviously the devil's not a good character to deal with in the beginning, but you've got devil energy around you. It's putting your balance out of whack because you've got temperance reverse, so it's causing a lot of bullshit in your life basically you just this person i feel like it's not you it's not your guys's energy and if it is um take it how it resonates but i feel like it's another person you're dealing with and they're really causing um grief in your life could be a capricorn a sign sagittarius or fire sign um they're just not bringing happiness to your life they're just bringing this total unbalance and it's just not a healthy place to be in it's horrible headspace to be in and the devil, um, so it talks about addiction, greed, materialism, hoarding, compulsion, excess, playfulness. You know, somebody is not doing the right thing by you and it's causing your balance and your temperance, your beautiful temperance that you're usually used to being in, completely out of whack. So it's not a great place to be in. And I said it was a um, maybe a love relationship because two of cups in when it's upright, is like silver medal in the world of the tarot so the lovers the lovers card is gold two of cups is silver but it's reversed so that's why i said it could be a love relationship for a lot of you because it's come up reverse so you've broken up with somebody you walked away um there was just it was just too much for you like you needed to walk away for yourself for your own being because look at the story look how it came out devil your balance is is upside down and not even and bam gone so i think if you have walked away from someone who was doing this in life good on you because our peace of mind and our energy is everything it balances out our beings as a whole it you know what it's what sets our day up it's what puts our world in motion in a sense so if you wake up with bad news, you're going to be cranky for the rest of the day. If you wake up happy, you're going to be happy for the rest of the day. Do you know what I mean? The first thing that we do and the mindset that we're in, we're in sets up how we treat other people, how we react to situations and what we do in life. So I feel like this person was bringing complete disbalance to your life and disruption and you've decided to walk away because of that. Hang on a sec. Oh, I can go. Sorry guys, my stepson came out and he's like, it's really hot today. 
um, even though it's winter, it's nice and sunny, and he came out dressed in all black, and I'm like, you know it's hot today, right? <laughs> Kids love to disrupt me when I'm doing these things. They're just, like, drawn to me like magnets. They're like, well, you know you're recording, Mum. We're going to interrupt you. We need your attention. <laughs> so that's what's happening. Um, but, yeah, back to you guys. So you have walked away or in the process of walking away from something that's no longer serving you, that's no long, that's disrupting the balance in your life, and, you know, really taking your power and passion back. That's what I'm feeling definitely for you guys for the start of September. Carrying on from that, let's check out your love life, even though we've just spoken about your love life or close romance as a close romance or a um, romantic situation. What have we got for Taurus for their love life for September? Okay. You're going to meet someone new. Once you guys cut out this toxic cycle that you're in and heal completely, you're going to meet someone new, completely new. And this could happen as quick as um, first half of September because it happens quickly when you're manifesting it, when the universe sees you walk away from a situation that's no longer serving you and breaking the cycle that um, is toxic to you that they've removed. They're like, congratulations, pat on the back, here you go, we're now going to reward you with, with what you truly want. So you're going to meet someone new and it's going to be a, be a whirlwind because I just got it like a whirlwind vis vision in my mind. So you're going to meet this person, courting as in the old days, getting to know one another, really taking your time, not rushing, not making mistake, the mistakes you did in the past, taking your time, really enjoying this person and just getting to know them and, and enjoying them. But it is a soulmate karmic relationship for you because you've got soulmate. Yes, it is. So it is someone that's destined to be in your life someone that's meant to be, they've crossed your path when they're meant to cross your path and the universe is just bringing them in and rewarding you for the hard work and getting rid of what was no longer serving you. Oh, why do you have to come and interrupt me all the time? Oh, hang on. Again, he's interrupting me. Now he's going to put shorts on and I was like, yeah, that's great, but you're travelling so he's going to see his dad tonight and he's travelling on a bus and he's... um. And it's going to be cold again. So I was like, you're traveling at night. You're going to be cold. So <laughs> can't win. You can't win. That's so funny. All right. Let's get in on with this. So education and finance. What can we bring for you for September? All right. They came out really easily. So I feel like this part of your life is going smoothly. But this is, so this is my education and career and money deck. You guys, look, your energy keeps falling over. Stay. Stay, Taurus. Stay. <laughs> so with these cards, this is my career and financial finance deck. But um, sometimes it just reinforces the message you need to hear. And it's this is so about your career. You're on the right path. Keep it up. The universe is telling you you're on the right path for you. So either you guys are content and happy in your work life and it's all going smoothly. Take that as one rep message. Or it's just reinforcing the message that I've just delivered you and telling you that you're doing the right thing by cutting this toxic energy out of your life. The universe intervened and is putting you on the right track. And now you're on the right track to build the life that you want to create. And when it comes to your money, Eight of Pentacles. This card shows us an image of a labourer hard at work. A strong indicator there may be a pay rise as a result of your skills and efforts being recognised and rewarded. Also the chance of promotion leading to long-term improvements and pay in pay conditions. So you guys um, could be going through a pay rise in September, being recognised for the hard work that you do. As I said, I don't feel like there's a big problem with your career and money. You're pretty balanced in that area, but you, someone has been seeing you put the hard work in um, and they know that you're going through this hard time in your love life and you're being rewarded through that, not only by your employer but by the universe as well, by bringing you a pay increase, job promotion or, um, you know, maybe even a new job with better pay, pay rate. Whatever it is, you're okay when it comes to that area of your life. Okay, what can we deliver for Taurus for September? Angel message. Final message of the reading. Uh, nine. 
So you guys could be seeing number nine everywhere or, um, you know, it could be nine o'clock when you look at the clock. And that's just your angels and guides delivering you me this message. And this message is, the nine life path is one of insight, generosity, emotion, compassion, global awareness, interpretation, diversity and strength. Nine contains a little bit of all the other numbers as well as many unique characteristics of its own. So see, it's talking about you being off your track, really being up in your energy, bringing this imbalance into your life, but you're getting on the right track again. You're going to be walking away from this energy and into this new energy and it's going to be <clears throat> very fulfilling and rewarding for you guys. All right, that's all I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye.